Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Rebelway course, Practical Python for Houdini. My name is Corbin Main, lead effects artist and TD at Axis Studios. And in this eight week course, I'm going to guide you on a journey to mastering Python within Houdini. Many of you may have tried Python at some point and found it overwhelming or confusing. And some of you may think Python is nothing but boring backend coding that does nothing to enhance your art. I know this because I used to feel exactly the same. But then one day I finally took the time to learn Python and everything changed. Every aspect of my workflow was enhanced by understanding this powerful language and now I'm going to share with you all the tricks I have learned over years of building tools, pipelines and breathtaking effects using Python. This course will be divided into three modules, each with a different skill level in mind. In the first two weeks, we will begin with the very basics, learning the language itself, how to write and read it, and all the syntax required to create basic code. Here, I'll briefly cover a wide variety of topics, so those who are new to coding will benefit the most from repeating this module a few times until they feel comfortable enough to move on. And for those who already have a basic understanding of Python, this module will form a handy reference that you may want to keep at hand as we progress through the rest of the course. In the second module, we are going to dive straight into the practical applications of Python in Houdini. I'll show you how to get set up so that Houdini can reference your external scripts and assets and teach you some extremely useful workflows required to work within Houdini. Then, we'll work our way through the wide variety of contexts inside of Houdini where Python can be applied. We'll cover everything from startup scripts to digital assets, shelf tools, Python SOPs, and many more, using everything we learned from Module 1 to practice and polish our coding skills, build practical, real-world examples that will save you time and effort in your daily work. By this stage, you should begin to feel comfortable with Python and how to manipulate Houdini in powerful ways. In Module 3, we are going to work together to build a collection of highly useful tools that will form the basis of your personal or freelance pipeline. We'll build a central hub that controls the location of all of your Houdini projects, including scripts, digital assets, and scene files, allowing you to easily separate work from different clients while still maintaining access to your global toolkit. Next, we're going to save your scene. That's right, something as simple as saving your scene can become a nightmare when working across multiple projects with varying team members and a wild folder structure. But this system will keep it all in check for you, so you never have to worry about losing work again. And for our final project, we are going to build a highly advanced and intuitive caching system that uses everything we've created so far to store and organize your caches in a way you've never thought possible before. How many times have you gone digging through old scene files trying to find what settings you used to create an older cache which the client has suddenly decided they prefer over all your changes? How many versions have you lost through poor naming, bad folder management, a total lack of versioning, or just because you didn't have the space to keep older files? Well, together, we're going to eliminate all of this and build a whole new system for managing your caches so you never need to stress, redo work, or miss a deadline ever again. Python is one of the most powerful tools in any Houdini toolkit. And over the next eight weeks, I will teach you everything you need to know to increase your efficiency, professionalism, and capabilities using this incredible language. So good luck, everyone, and I'll see you in lesson one.